okay guys so today after I've done all the test pieces on the uh, RWL34 I'm going to do another three knives a day through the uh, even heat kiln this is a uh, 18 and a half inch uh, internal diameter this kiln uh, depth sorry and then you can see the elements either side and the thermocouple right in the center I'll just bring it up let you have a little peek so you can see the uh, three blanks in there ready they're 3.5 thick so I'll just place it down there a sec. This uh, even heat kiln is an absolute godsend um, for any knife maker. So if you contact John down at uh, Multi Tool Products, he'll be able to help you out and give you all the information you need regarding this uh, unit. So let's come round to how we're going to heat treat this. Let's see if I can remember this now. So we're going to turn them on, wait for it to go to a uh, standby, there we go. So we're going to press the develop key and then we're going to use uh, program one and enter. Then we're going to have three segments because I'm going to heat this steel up slowly in a uh, three segments. So we're going to have three segments, enter. And it's going to ramp up as uh, as fast as the kiln can go, which is nine. Enter, and then we're going to ramp up to three hundred Celsius is our first uh, ramp. And then we're going to hold that for ten minutes. Enter, ramp two is going to be as fast as it can. And then enter, and then we're going to ramp up to five hundred degrees. So we're going to enter that now. That's ramp two, we're gonna hold for 10 minutes. Enter. So ramp three is what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take this up as fast as we can. Enter. And then we're gonna come up to 1050, that's 1050 Celsius that is. So we'll enter that. And then we're gonna hold, and now I need to work out, when I open the door, the temperature drops. So, when I close the door back up after I'm quenching, I need that temperature to build back up. So I'm going to give it five minutes per blade. So I'm going to take this to 40 minutes. Um, we're going to set the alarm, which is enter. And now we're on a complete. So after the complete uh, comes up, what we do then is we uh, run and then enter you should hear it click there you go so now so now that uh, stainless steel was going through the uh, the, uh, the segments and the heat treatment which I've just put into this program uh, on this display unit here you've got 12 different programs you can enter um, let's say you're gonna take oh uh, uh, program one for RWL stainless steel, program two for for um, O1 tall steel, uh, program three eighty CRV, let's say, and you know you've got so many different options to put them up, to put them into different sections, which is my plan. And then I can what I can do then is uh, make some data of which program holds which uh, which heat treatment cycle for that desired steel. So yes, there we go. I uh, take up, I think that takes about 45 minutes to get up to uh, temperature through this cycle. So yes, we'll come back to that when that's all done. Okay. Right, so I've got two done down here now. Pan round for me please, my beautiful assistant Tom. So then what I'll do is I'll just keep moving it around. I'm expecting them to slightly walk, nothing drastic. And then I'll just put them in until they stop smoking. And then they should be cooled within about 
20, 25 seconds. And that's the last one of the RWL 34. Slight, a slight little bit of smoke in there. But uh, there we go. So now those three now are ready to be cleaned up. And then uh, what I shall do is put them in the freezer for an hour and then we'll go on to the tempering cycle. Okay, so uh, after uh, quenching, I put this uh, steel into uh, the freezer for an hour. So on, uh, on one of them, there we go, this one here. I put them on the rock well and you can see after you'll see the little dimplets there along the edge of the blade so I've got a 62.5 same as I did the last time uh, the thing I done different this time was obviously I had a mate round and I was talking and I got distracted so the hit the, the oil uh, didn't get up to around about 30, 25 degrees where I like to have it. It was only up to about 12, I think. Uh, and it didn't make a blind bit of difference, really. So I'm going to test these now. Uh, I think uh, there is a warp on them. So I'll check them on the uh, glass behind me. Okay, so these have cooled down now from the freezer. And they definitely got a warp from quenching so this one being the worst one which I think is around about I don't know middle and a half this one has got a slight warp and this one's got a slight warp so then what I need to do is put this one in the middle then put that one on top that way and that one that way so then what I'll do is I'll clamp them all together and then you can see the bow there look between it so then that should take out take out the bow when it goes in for the tempering cycle hopefully he says <laughs> but uh I'll update you when I do that. Okay, so I've got the um, knives back to back with uh, the bow facing in. Um, so the ends will be squeezed flat. And uh, so this should um, take this out in the tempering cycle. Um, I'm nearly up to 220 there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this door put them in now so they can ramp up slowly so obviously that will that will drop you see so I'll wait for that to get up to 220 and then I'll monitor it I'll monitor that by there at 220 then I've also got a backup one there which my other one is showing 98 this one's showing 95 so it's about three degrees difference at the moment um, oh yeah there's one that, that was a, a test piece I done the indentations on it there let's see so yeah so once that reaches once that reaches uh, 220 so I've got my set point I've got my set point set there look 220 and that uh, ramp up 
and then I hold it 220 for two hours and then uh, there you go that's 200 that one's 200 I had a little bit of a 30 degree difference um, when I've done this uh, uh, another test because I had this thermocouple and I had it around a rack what was in sort of low level of the other one. so I've got a different reading uh, from the middle of the thermocouple from the lower one which was 30 degrees which I didn't think it would make a lot of difference it does so whatever you're doing if you've got a backup one make sure you put it on your thermocouple and wrap it round you'll get a more uh, correct reading there so that's 202 we got 203 there I'm rising so two hours it is and I'll wait and see what happens okay so the tempering cycle is up now I'm just going to get these gloves on bring them out of the oven should have a nice uh, straw colour if I can get these up and done quick enough without burning myself. I'll tell you what I do, I'm gonna leave them I'm gonna leave them to cool. I'm gonna leave them to cool and then um, I'll open them once they're cooled up uh, or cooled. I'll let them cool down first. Okay, so it's taken too long to cool down in the uh, clamps and I put them outside. So I just quickly took them off and now they've been sitting in these aluminium plates for about 10 minutes. So we'll see now. Nice, uh, that's a nice straw colour though. Just what you're looking for. All three of them. All the same. I haven't tested them yet on the Rockwell tester, but what I'm going to do now is just put this down there there's blocks over there and then we're just gonna uh I've got to put a bit of thing under here because the glass was rocking okay so where's the one what I'd already rock well tested after quench this one this was one that I which was a bowed. Nothing there. Okay, we got we got a slight slight rock in there, which isn't too bad. So this one, no movement there. Slight rock in there. in that side and we've got a slight rock in there so that's not too bad so just a few this bit of paper that's uh, my friend's company by the way <laughs> so I'll just use this uh, bit of paper It's all good. That's all good. So. 
so they have a very slight warp which is uh, next to nothing so I'm happy with that the thing to do now is to uh, clean all these up and then we'll take them over to the Rockwell tester Okay, so that's them all cleaned up and ready. Now let's go to the Rockwell tester. This, if you're wondering what that was, that was just a sponge because these belts do get clogged up with uh, metal. So five pound from Screw Fix, I think they were. Run it on there, removes all the metal. Jobs are good. One. There you go. I'll just bring you over here. Well pleased with that. 59 on the button. So that's good. So from that readout. You can see them there at the bottom, see them shining there. In four places. So I know in that in that readout now. There's no point testing the other ones. I'll test them, but I'll test them off camera. Um well pleased with that. Okay guys, so after all the info and the, the data which we got back from the, the Rockwell uh, machine. All the knives that we've done are all a 59 Rockwell. As you would have seen in the as you would have seen in the video, they all pretty much uh, followed suit. So that was a successful uh, heat treat on uh, on the RWL34. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up subscribe and uh, if you like share this video thanks for watching and i'll catch you up in the next video